hello everyone welcome back to our channel medical coders coaching world here is what to tell Bhuma Devi Chandra Shekharan from Abu Dhabi today we are going to see about anesthesia guidelines in the uh, CPT subject I will take the easiest chapters first after that I will go for the little bit toughest chapter so anesthesia is the uh, very easiest chapter in CPT so I am taking that first I am giving the first preference to anesthesia uh, before going to the guidelines, we just uh, go through the types of anesthesia. There are uh, four main types of anesthesia is there. General anesthesia, IV or monitored sedation and regional anesthesia, local anesthesia. In IV or monitored sedation, there are three types, minimal sedation, moderate sedation and deep sedation. The general anesthesia is given to our whole body uh, in that we, de we never feel any pain, uh, we are not uh, conscious, we will be uh, totally unconscious during the general anesthesia. Uh, the general anesthesia usually the general anesthesia is given to any major surgeries like uh, brain surgery or a heart surgery like that uh, general anesthesia will be given and then the IV and mo or monitored sedation uh, in this there are three uh, types is there minimal sedation moderate sedation and the deep sedation in minimal sedation uh, we will be awake uh, like uh, we will be awake and we will be conscious uh, we know what the what they are uh, uh, what the procedures are doing to us and uh, it's a little bit drowsy uh, moderate means it's not like uh, it's not like a general anesthesia uh, we will feel drowsy and sometimes we will sleep and uh, but we know what the procedures are doing to us but we are not awake we are not uh, conscious we, uh, we will be sleep sometimes and the deep sedation is uh, uh, similar to general anesthesia it's not general anesthesia but um, it's like uh, we will be sleeping and sometimes we know what the procedures are doing to us and sometimes we don't know what the procedures are doing to us and uh, uh, we will not be awake and conscious we uh, we will sleep to, throughout the procedures these are the three types of uh, IV or, or monitored sedation the, and then the regional anesthesia regional anesthesia means it numbs the uh, large a, large part of the body uh, if for example if, if it is a cesarean delivery it numbs the uh, stomach of the woman uh, the patient will be awake and uh, they can see what the procedures are doing to them and uh, and even they can have a conversation with the uh, doctors everything they know that is regional anesthesia uh, and the local anesthesia is it numbs the small part of the body for example tooth removal um, it uh, the doctor will give the anesthesia to uh, around the tooth only around the the decayed tooth only the doctor will give anesthesia that is uh, uh, it numbs the small uh, area around the uh, tooth right so local anesthesia it numbs the small part of the body these are the types of anesthesia and uh, their definitions and it helps to uh, these definitions helps you to understand uh, what type of anesthesia is given and uh, how we can code properly these uh, that's why i gave the brief definition about these anesthesia types and these anesthesia types will help you a lot in understanding the anesthesia codes and uh, selecting the proper codes. And sometimes this may be asked as a guideline questions also in examinations. And uh, this is the um, guidelines. Before giving anesthesia, the, the anesthesiologist will uh, uh, examine the patients in during that uh, examining what are the services what are the procedures that included in anesthesia and excluded in anesthesia is there the included services are pre and post operative care pre operative care and post operative care is included in this and care during the procedures and then administration of fluids or in uh, blood usual monitoring services like uh, ECG, electrocardiogram, temperature, BP, blood pressure checking, oximetry. Oximetry means uh, uh, calc uh, calculating the checking the level of oxygen in our blood uh, with the um, machine called oximeter and capnography. Capnography means it is a medical terminology. Capno is carbon dioxide and graphy means recording. Capnography means uh, calculating the carbon dioxide level in our blood and mass spectrotomy 
these are the services which included in the anesthesia pro anesthesia uh, procedures and the services which are not included in the anesthesia services is unusual forms of monitoring like uh, intraatrial and the in, uh, central venous van gas is is uh, these are all unusual forms of monitoring so these are not included in the anesthesia procedures swanganth swanganth is a technique which is uh, uh, used to measure the blood pressure in pulmonary artery and the next guideline is if the second physician gives moderate sedation in facility settings facility settings means like a hospital inpatient care outpatient care ambulatory service settings these are the facility settings if the second physician gives moderate sedation in facility settings use 99155 99156 and 99157 codes uh, we have to use these codes if it is not given in the facility settings if it is not given in the facility settings not non facility settings means a physician's office or a, a private clinic these are all non facility settings if if the moderate sedation is given in that uh, physician office or uh, any private clinics outside the facility settings then we should not use these four these three codes Double nine one five five and double nine one five six and double nine one five seven codes. We should not use these codes for uh, non-facility settings. Mod moderate sedation. If it is in facility settings, then we have to use these three codes. This is the important guideline. You have to remember it uh, because sometimes it can be asked as asked in uh, any guideline questions and all. so if we are remembering this questions uh, so we we don't need to go through the books that time so just remember this and this is the anesthesia guidelines next is time reporting the time reporting includes the anesthesiologist prepares the patient for anesthesia services uh, that is the starting of the time and the ending of the time is when the anesthesiologist no longer in uh, touch with the patient okay uh, that means the patient is shifted to the normal ward uh, these are this is the end time if the uh, the starting time is the anesthesiologist is preparing the patient for giving the anesthesia is the starting time and the ending time is when the anesthesiologist leaves the patient when, uh, that means no longer in touch with the patient is the ending time this is the time reporting uh, during the anesthesia so this is very 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 important if we know the uh, we can choose the correct answer easily because sometimes they will confuse them by giving confuse us by giving the um, correct and four or five of uh, four options correctly so for example if the surgery is begins at 7:45 and it ends at uh, 12:30 but the anesthesiologist preparing the patient from 7:30 itself then the anesthesiologist leaves the patient by 12:30 and the surgery also ends by 12:30 means then uh, then the correct answer is 7:30 to 12:30 is the correct answer because the anesthesiologist prepared the patient from 7:30 and uh, the anesthesiologist leaves the patient by 12:30 so 7:30 to 12:30 is the correct time so, but they will give as 7:45 to 12:30 like that they will give and uh, they will confuse us they will make us to confuse uh, which answer is correct so the answer the correct answer is when the anesthesiologist prepare the patient for an, uh, giving anesthesia uh, that is the starting time and the ending time is when the anesthesiologist leaves the patient that is the ending time so this is the correct answer and the next is separate or multiple procedures separate or multiple procedures means if the uh, if any procedures done in the single anesthetic administration uh, if any multiple procedures done in the single anesthetic administration then we have to code uh, among the procedures which is the complex procedure that one we have to code as the anesthesia code that uh, that anesthesia code we have to give that is the uh, separate or multiple procedures but the time is and the but the time reported is not only for the complex procedure uh, we should not report uh, what is the time duration for complex procedure like that we should not report we have to report the total procedure like uh, 
simple procedure to complex procedure how many how long it, uh, it takes uh, like that only we have to uh, we have to code it uh, like for example for the complex procedure itself done uh, done in 15 minutes but the total procedure is done 45 minutes then we have to give 45 minutes uh, time duration not only 15 minutes okay and the next is anesthesia modifiers these modifiers i already explained in uh, modifiers video i'll give the link in the description area please go and check that uh, link and uh, you will find the anesthesia modifiers video the next is qualifying circumstances this is very important qualifying circumstances means before giving the anesthesia we have to examine the patient like uh, patient's age and their history uh, and any medical history is there and uh, any family background uh, any somebody is having sugar or bp like that we will analyze the patient before giving the anesthesia and the risk factors of the patient this these are all, these are all the qualifying circumstances under this there are four uh, topics is there four codes is there usually the question will be like uh, these procedures are done for uh, 70 year old patient or a hypotension patient hypertension patient or a infant less than uh, four years like that it will be the question will be there and uh, we have to give the procedure code what is the procedure done under the anesthesia that procedure code and this is the add-on codes qualifying circumstances will be the add-on codes this will be added to the procedure so uh, so many questions are uh, along with the qualifying circumstances only uh, but uh, some questions may be only the procedure done questions also there and um, but i had so many questions along with comes and all comes along with qualifying circumstances code that's why i'm uh, saying these qualifying circumstances are very important and uh, you have to uh, read the question well and you have to answer it correctly because the qualifying circumstances they will not mention it as qualifying circumstances they just mentioned as uh, um, this is the age of the patient and uh, this is the history of the patient like that they just mentioned and we have to understand this is the qualifying circumstances so we have to give the add-on codes proper add-on codes to the uh, procedure uh, add-on codes with the procedure codes now i will show you how to read the codes like uh, the procedure is needle biopsy on thyroid the answer is 003322 will, will be the answer for this how to read the code anesthesia you have to read it from the capital letter they are starting anesthesia is starting in the capital letter right right so uh, from that you have to read it that is the topic and this will be the subtopic like that you just remember okay anesthesia for all procedures on esophagus thyroid larynx trachea and lymphatic system of the of neck neck this is here is the there will be a colon is here right and needle biopsy of thyroid like this you have to read the code okay up to colon you have to read and after that directly you comes to the code uh, uh, description given in the code needle biopsy of thyroid then this will be the this will be our answer you should not code like both together you should not code that is the topic under this this also this procedure also done under this so you have to code the procedure only so the answer will be 00322 is the answer if you read alone 00320 code then it will be wrong if you read alone uh, 00322 code then it will be also wrong you have to read both the codes but you have to read up to the colon and you have to come to the uh, procedure what the procedure done what the procedure is given to you uh, like that you have to read if you have any doubt please do comment your support keep watching our channel don't forget to like comment and share subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for our updates